Hi everybody, my name is Carlos Pinedo. Today I'm going to show you a real quick way of repairing the Brother uh, LED laser printer. Uh, these are very popular because they're very inexpensive for what they do. It's full color laser and a lot of times when they go bad, people tend to throw them out and just buy another one because you can find them from $300 to $500. But if you can avoid even paying that, <clears throat> Um, that'll be a great thing. What's interesting about these color lasers is that they don't use a laser like the typical laser printer. You, you can tell usually they say digital color. They actually use LEDs, little tiny LEDs to heat the drum so the toner sticks to the drum. But that's a whole other thing. Let's see. Here's a test print. If your test prints are coming out like this and you notice all the colors... It's like all the colors are off. Even if you change the toner and change the drum and it still looks like this, it sometimes actually is not the toner or the printer hardware. It actually could be calibration. Now, sometimes you'll buy a cheap toner or a aftermarket, and if you don't calibrate and you go back to the original, it doesn't produce enough heat for the toner to function correctly. So this is how you do it for uh, these brothers. There's a lot of models. I'll put it down in the description. All the models I can find that have the same mechanism. First thing you want to do is turn it off. So you flip the switch. You'll see the switch is usually on the right side. And we're going to open the unit. Now you're going to see here the toner drums, the toners. Now what's really interesting is that the actual printing head on this is right here on the top. Don't touch these with your fingers. These are actually LED emitters. Really fine. There's four of them. One for each color. So let me pause. Now what you want to take is a dry soft cloth not moist no chemicals and just gently pass it right over the head don't pull don't put too much pressure you can break the springs and do it for all four of them okay now we're going to close the unit and turn it back on. Let's flip the switch. All right, I'm going to pause on the warm up. All right, it's warmed up. Now let's see the screen. Uh, that screen's kind of bright. I hope you can see it there. Uh, normally, what we want to do is go into the menu um, I would tell you where to go but usually they're all different so you want to go into the first you want to go down to the printer enter there you're gonna go find calibrate calibration enter there uh, enter in there and hit one for yes if that is what your printer asks and then you wait for the please wait to uh, disappear I'll I'll pause until it's back okay we're back that only took about two to three minutes and then the next thing you want to do is find auto register and start it this one's actually much quicker than the um, calibration but it checks all the uh, all the toners and re-registers their uh, their lifespan and what it has left after the calibration and it looks like we're done so we can uh, clear that we can just go back to the main screen and if you recall uh, this was my what the print looked like and let's go activate a test print. Let's see how it comes out. Uh, 
All right. And what do we got? There you go. The color is nice and sharp. The blacks are sharp. And here's the before. And the after. And you didn't have to replace the printer. I hope it helps you guys out and saves you some money. And thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe for more tech videos. Um, I'll have the link in the bottom. Because uh, uh, the more you watch, the more it helps me. Uh, and it helps me be able to make more videos like these for you guys. And thank you for your time. Uh, any questions you have, put it down in the comment. I try to answer all of them as best I can. Have a great day.